So now that we've completed the main body of the propeller blade, the next thing we're going to do is approach the root of the blade. So with the main body that we've generated selected, we'll hit tab to enter edit mode. And what we're going to do is extrude this bottom row of vertices, which I've just box selected. We're going to hit E to extrude them along the Z axis. And we'll extrude down to this first kink and the template. We'd like for the rest of the cross sections that we generate as we move towards the the root away from the tip to be circular. So what we're going to do is activate an add-on called Loop Tools. And the way that we'll do that is we'll hit Control alt u to go to User Preferences. We'll go to the Add-ons tab. Search for Loop Tools. And check the box to activate it. So with these vertices selected, we're going to hit W to open the Specials menu go to loop tools and then circle and what that just did for us is convert that cross section into a perfectly circular cross section now the next thing we need to do is scale this circle down so that it aligns with the template and then we'll grab it and relocate it so that it aligns perfectly with the kinks in the background image so now that this cross section is circular, all we have to do is extrude and rescale for each one of these kinks as we move down the root of the propeller blade. So we're going to extrude and lock in the z-axis again. And we're going to scale this next one down. You have to be careful when you go to generate bevels like the ones located here and here. Because you kind of have to plan around which set of vertices you'll be manipulating next so that you don't have trouble selecting and deselecting them. So we extruded, now we're going to scale out. And before I relocate this row of vertices to where they're to their final location, I'm going to extrude the set of vertices that I already have selected so that I won't have to reselect them and extrude later on. So before I do anything else, I'm going to relocate this whole column by grabbing it to better position it relative to the template. And now we're ready to box select this middle row of vertices and drop it down so that it aligns well with where it should be in the template. So then continue this process all the way down until you reach the bottom of the root of the propeller blade. So now that we've finished extruding and scaling to meet the profile defined by the template, all that remains is to close this hole with a face at the bottom of the root. And the way that we're going to do that is just select this entire loop of vertices by entering the side view, hitting number 1 on the numpad, and then box selecting, and then hitting F. And so what that did is place a face inside that set of vertices. So that completes our, our modeling of, of the root. In the next video we'll work with closing the tip of the propeller blade. Thank you for watching.